Hey, what's up, my royalties? We're back at again with another reaction video. Uh, this time, we're reacting to Young Thug Gunna in 26YSL. I have no idea who 26YSL. Hey, royalties, let me know who is that guy. Never heard of him before. But members indicted on uh, Rico charges. Thug tried to get uh, YFN uh, Lu Lucy, Lucy clap. That's just, yo. There's so much stuff going on with this title. Number one, I can't read these rappers' names. I just can't read these rappers. It shows how much I listen to these guys. I don't listen. I mean, his music, I think I'm a little bit familiar with them, but I don't know how to pronounce his name. Never heard of this dude. The two big ones I really care about is Young Thug, because I like his music, and Gunna. Gunna just came out with a fire album, like, what was it, like a month or two months ago? And th these guys better serve a long time behind bars. This is some serious, serious, serious charges. Like, right here, this no. is, like, very serious charges, like, right here. I could I could imagine being faced with this, and that's kind of messed up that Young Thug is trying to throw another rapper under the bus. I think that's what he means by clap because clap sounds sus. These academics, your title that just sounds sus. But I think I know where you're gonna get this man over here, Young Thug, trying to throw this rapper under you know under the bus. You know, try to get less time. Either way, brother, you guys are done for. Your careers are over. Um, I feel like I just got finished covering on um, Forty Two Doug with his stupid self. He's, he's dumb. Like, he literally posted bragging about being on the run from the feds, going to basketball games, then got, is shocked they got caught. Like, these these entertainers are so dumb to take the thug life for real. It's like, no, put on the image and make money from it. Like, Corey LeRae. She grew up in the most wealthy, influenced, it's just a great neighborhood in Atlanta, Georgia, but she come across like she's like the most hood, hood rat chick out there. She's not. She's just putting on a show to put an image because that puts more money in her bank account and people listen to her music. She's smart about it. She's not a real thug, but you got to fake it. Fake it to make it, right? These guys are doing it for real. They're living a the lifestyle. It's like, why? You have a lot to rip, like a lot to lose. You're risking a lot. The people, your inner circle of people you hang out with, they have nothing to lose, so they don't care. Your street brothers, they're down with you for the streets, all right? And look at you guys now. Losing all that money, losing your career, losing your fame. People are gonna forget about you. Like I said about 42 Dog, once you like locked up for X amount of years, you come out is a whole different game. New rappers coming up, people will not listen to your music anymore. But yeah, Road let's go ahead and get straight into the video and just see what these idiots, how these idiots got caught. Like people, y'all know what happens when that Puerto Rican nigga named Rico come around, okay? People are gonna get some years in jail, okay? Now, if you guys don't know, the entire YSL was taken down by a RICO charge. That's a racketeering charge. Those are serious, which man. Which charged 28 people affiliated and associated with YSL. Now, I'm going to tell you what it means, but today we saw heavy police presence at one of Young Thug's properties. They did and more thinking about it, a whole bunch Young Thug is taking dunks from 6 9 because 6 9 got caught with this a couple years ago, and he ran out the ringleader. And I think wife in uh, Lucy, whatever, however pronounce his name, um, he's the ringleader and he tried to like get all his time like reduced or basically erased. I mean, I can't really blame him. I mean, I'm talking about, yeah, you're not a real hood person because you just shut your mouth and go go behind bars, serve your time. But for me, I know I'm not about the lifestyle and I ever get myself caught up in this situation. You know, the hood, you know, so the ringleader, ringleader came to talk today. My goodness, I need some more water. He's going down because kissing ain't trying to serve my time. I'm really not stuff and they took young thug into custody now they're looking for other people okay they're looking for gunner okay and by the way other people who you might be familiar oh gunner they got caught YSL, yet they're hey, gonna charged as well gotta take notes for 42 doug don't be that guy don't go out go to these nfl games basketball games or just go and see the public bragging about running away from the cops or just being seen you gotta keep a very low profile Better yet, may have to move to Puerto Rico. Speaking of Rico charges, move to Puerto Rico. Mexico. You probably can get out. If I, like, if I know I'm getting serious charges, I'm, I'm out. I'm gone. I'm sk sk skedaddle. I'm not dealing with those charges. You crazy. Okay. Including Yak Gotti, uh, Lil Duke, and a few other people. Oh, Young Gotti too? Remember the guy who shot at Lil Wayne's tour bus and he got out not too long ago? Well, he's going back to jail again. Know why he's going back to jail? He's going back to jail just because he is participating in this gang. Now, let me tell you how the feds set this up. And this is why RICO charges are so effective for them, because they don't gotta really prove, you know, like, really, like, if you a boss, you know all these, these rappers talk like they bosses, 
they're not going to be pulling the trigger themselves. These guys aren't going to be really doing dirt themselves. They're going to pay somebody else to do it, right? However, with a RICO charge, you're going to jail still, okay? Basically, if you gave instructions, if you helped pay for some stuff, you are guilty, especially if you're in what they call a street gang. So this is what prosecutors say. They say YSL is a street gang. Now, I'm going to tell you about Gunna's case, uh, Gunna's charge before I even get to some of Thug's because Gunna, the only thing I see him charged with is repping YSL. Now, that's going to be an interesting case. His lawyer is going to have a field day in trying to get this case dismissed for Gunna, at least, just because he's going to say, well, y'all don't know any crimes I did. My The only thing y'all charged me for is for being in this gang, but I'm signed to a record label named YSL Records. I'm not in no Oh, he probably get away. Yeah, I'm his lawyers. Just an he has good money. He get he get around that. Day. Yeah, he's good. Gunner should be good. Hopefully, he hopefully Gunner is good. I like his music. Hopefully, hopefully he get he's get around he's this. Throwing up hand sim signals. He's saying certain words consistent with the gang. He's doing. They, they have a bunch of stuff that they're saying he's doing that's consistent with being in this gang. However, I think he has a decent case. Anyway, Young Thug. They want Young Thug, and by the way, Young Thug is probably be looking at a lot of time. You know why? Because you ever watch one of the movies and they got the little chart on the wall and they're like, yo, this is the criminal organization. Well, Young Thug is at the top of it. They say Young Thug is one of the three founders of YSL. And him being one of the three founders of YSL means he's at the top of the list. It's like, yo, when they took down the Mexican cartel. Yeah, they want El Chapo. They're not going to give, like, the dude who was, like, shooting people, like, for El Chapo, like, you know, three life sentences and then give, like, El Chapo 15 months. No, it don't work like that. We want the kingpin. And they're saying that Young Thug's one of the kingpins. Now, in addition to that, you know, they found weapons and all that other stuff. So they got some gun charges in the center third. But this is what they're saying. There's two things that really they, and I, and I think this last thing here is the reason they acted upon this now. They said that Young Thug was trying to get Wife and Lucci killed in jail. Okay? So Wife and Lucci also has a RICO charge for a lot of serious stuff. He's sitting in Fulton County Jail. They're saying that Young Thug was making calls and was orchestrating for people in jail to kill wife and Lucci. Now, I think that could be related to some other stuff that's been happening in the streets, and this is why the timing is very important. This is a RICO charge that wasn't wait. They didn't wait for the feds to come do it. They did it themselves in terms of local municipalities and local, you know, uh, um, counties uh, within Georgia. They filed this RICO charge against uh, uh, YSL. So basically, they want these guys off the street. From what I've been hearing, there's retaliatory stuff happening left and right. And I think they saw this escalating and go into the summer. So they said, yo, let's wrap it up. Now, in this indictment, which I'm going to get into another video, they got incidents from like 2013. Yeah, all the way back to 2013. Damn, they bro. have incidents that pretty there's much There's so much evidence piled against you, my brother. Young Thug and them for a long that's time. Going, okay? go, that's going so on about a decade was this at whole this point. Thing. They believe that... Um, they were trying to get wife and Lucci killed, which, by the way, there was a story of wife and Lucci getting attacked recently. But in 2015, they're saying that Young Thug paid for and rented a vehicle that he gave to his homies to go kill a guy. So they did a shooting, and you can look it up. The guy who got shot was at a barbershop, and then they shot two other people, including a 14-year-old boy in the leg. So they've been watching him for a while. They've been getting dirt on him for a while, right? And they have everything. They said it was from Hertz. It was an Infinity QX50 or whatever the case is. So they got a lot of stuff on him. And this is where it's going to get very serious for Thug. Okay? They're probably going to look at him and say, bro, we have all the evidence against you in the world. We've been waiting for this for years. What are you going to do? Are you going to take a plea? Or you're going to just, like, try to go beat this case? Now, again, if if they do try to take this to a trial, I think it's going to be I think it's going to be a lot of years that's going to be on uh, table okay i think this is gonna be a lot of years um i just personally believe that atlanta is trying to clean up and i don't think this is going to be the first indictment i think there's a couple more to come where they realize a bunch of rappers are either moving to atlanta or in atlanta and they're moving like they're the mob they got their own little street crews and their crews is not only just making music or whatever the case is these dudes are starting to get active and i think this is what happens and you know um very unfortunate because you know, Thug was about to drop some new music. Shoot, Gunner's supposed to be dropping the song tomorrow. I don't know if that's going to happen. Thug was supposed to headline um, one of these well, uh, State Farm Arena, like, next month. I don't know if that's going to happen at all. Probably not. No, but he's... But Gunner in custody, 28 behind bars, bro. Uh, people charged. This is a very, very serious case. 
I could imagine that uh, um, Gunner's lawyer is going to put up a lot of, you know, protests to try to get his case dropped. But, man, Thug is in it. And this is where, you know, we're all going to have the survivor's remorse or we're going to have we're going to we're going to have uh, 2020 hindsight and be like, yo, why do these guys do all this stuff? They're rich already. Let's just be very clear. OK, if we listen to this indictment, this indictment described the gang that they had pretty much almost before they even got famous. OK, they said this stuff was born on Cleveland Ave. If you ever heard Young Thug in his early days rap about Cleveland. OK, that's what he's talking about. OK, so pretty much this kind of grew into an organization and probably just started out as a bunch of, you know, bunch of hoodlum friends just kicking it and probably doing hood rat ish. However, start getting bigger and bigger. There's a lot more people that's involved, a lot more money involved. And now some of these ramifications and for the cops, it's harder to prove. So you know what they do? Screw all of that. We don't want to have to prove all of that. We just want to be able to prove that y'all committing crimes and y'all committing crimes for the furtherance of this gang, which is YSL and y'all are in YSL. Screw it. Let's do that and get y'all the hell out of here. We'll see what happens. He's going to go to get a rain shortly. I think tomorrow. I don't think he'll get bail, but he might. He might. You know, his lawyer seems pretty confident. He might get bail. Regardless, I think it's rather sad that this is happening now, but hey, it is what it is. You know, they say you live by the gun, you die by the gun. Also, yeah, um, this is live the lifestyle you chose to live, stuff, bro. You can't be that shocked when somebody comes with a warrant or tries to charge you guys with some stuff so we'll see what happens what do you guys think about this whole thing get in the comment box would you guys like them subscribe yeah guys that's it with this video that um that's absolutely crazy um these guys you just gotta drop it but nah man i grew up but but kiss you don't understand to grow up with those guys you know that did like what dj academic just said there were like young kids doing like hood rat stuff and you know they're 14 15 16 years old and, you know, he made it out the hood with his rap career and he blew up, made money, but he never forgot about us. And he still, he stayed in the game. It's like, no, you got to forget about people. You got to move on. Yes, you have to change. When you make more money and you get more successful, life changes. It is what it is. Either you can change for the good or get dragged down with the bad and go behind bars like this guy. The choice is yours. Once you guys make it out, stop going back to the hood. Nothing ever good comes out of it. Young, young Dolph, right? He got killed for going back to his hood, going back to Memphis, going to the hood in those areas. Got killed and shot. Cause you have haters, you have people who really hate on you, wishing on your downfall, hoping you get caught by the feds, hoping that you get killed. Like they don't want you to see. Just to, like it is what it is. There's some people in our community hate on each other, right? Hate on to see if you made it out successful. They want you to keep you down. No, stay here, stay with us, stay in the hood. No, you move on. And don't be surprised so when they get caught you can't be surprised that people are taking you behind bars for the rest of your life because you doing hood, hood rat stuff as a multi-millionaire move on bro that's the past you can rap about it joke around about it whatever but do it for real bro you only ask you asking yourself for trouble like this is the only what else scenario you thought's gonna happen what else but yeah, royalties, that's it with this video um make sure you guys leave a like subscribe and turn on those notifications and uh, until next time Catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.